reaching virtual and real worlds for the Internet of Experiences. Product Marketing Manager of Microsoft Surface, Mr. Matt Chapman, and from Dassault Systems, Vice President of High Tech Industry, Mr. Olivier uh, Ribet. Are rebed. They are going to give us this special lecture. Thank you very much for this very inspiring uh, speech. Uh, while I was waiting, uh, while I was listening for you, Mr. Terao-san, I was uh, remembering an incredible movie, a Japanese movie that I'm sure many of you have seen. Uh, one year ago, called uh, Anne, uh, with Sentaro, who was uh, doing the little, uh, the little cakes. Um, and it was absolutely fascinating to see that all along this presentation, you really inspired us at the system who build software to allow this kind of creativity, to allow this kind of innovation, where you are guided by the spirit. You use the term several times, of the spirit of innovation. And we truly believe that when great minds like you uh, can have in their hands the right tools, the right software to unleash their creativity and create this kind of delightful experience, this is when virtual and real get together. And this is really where great innovations happen. So in the next few minutes, we are going to talk about this blending of virtual world and real world to enable the creation of great experiences. So to do that, I would like to start by sharing with you some, uh, some thoughts. Monica Mengini, a few minutes ago on stage, was talking about the internet of experience. And it's really about enabling the industry transformations that all of us aspire to. Transformation of the shape, color, characteristics uh, of a product, but more importantly, transformation of how we want to connect with consumers, how we want to connect with a community of people who love this kind of experience. So a lot of companies today understood that we need to move from product to connected experience, because a device that is not connected is less smart than it's when it's connected. And we look forward to see uh, the next little robot that you are going to create. Uh, the other point is moving from device to contextual value and added content and services. Having a phone, having a car, having a fridge, having a toaster that can adapt contextually to who you are and how you practice, how you use this product is becoming more and more important. And last but not least, many companies understood that shipping a product is just the beginning of the story. The real story starts when the product gets in the hands of the end user. And this is about continuously improving the experience. Monica Mengini, a few minutes ago, was talking about Tesla. Last year, Tesla updated, released, 12 times the software in their cars. The first were about fixing some glitches, improving things here and there. But some of these software updates were really about delivering new services, new experiences to the end user. So keep in mind for this presentation today, the world of Internet of Experience is connected, contextual, and continuous. So this is really about bridging two worlds, the worlds of engineering, the worlds of marketing, the, the world of innovation and imagination, and the world of real, of usage, of deployment, of improvement of the product, and we believe that this story never stops. It starts from the world of invention and virtual, goes into the world of real, and comes back. So to illustrate that, you have this little chart here where we really want to ensure that whatever you do, whoever you are in this room, you can not only invent, but augment the usage of the product that people will have in order to improve continuously their experience and based on their experience, learn and improve again the product, and it goes on and on. And this is why we have built the 3D experience platform the way it has been built, the way it has been architected, to make sure that this continuity of movement between virtual to real and back to virtual is endless, and that over time, 
the experience improves uh, permanently. So all of that is possible when you have great software, but more and more you need to have great hardware and software coming together. And to talk about uh, this experience and this continuous experience, I invite on stage Matt Chapman from Microsoft, who leads uh, the Surface marketing team for business. So Matt, I think that we are going to go welcome. Hello. Welcome on stage. How are you? Pretty good. I never thought I'd come to Japan to find the world's uh, best toast. Yeah, Who would have thought? and we will taste the toast later on, I heard. Yeah, I hope so. Which is good. So I think that we are going to launch uh, a little video. Uh, video, please. So the, uh, the reason why we're here is to talk about product design. And with Surface, uh, we believe that people should be able to design, iterate, get ideas from anywhere. Uh, and that's why the partnership with Dasso and the combination of hardware, software, and cloud coming together is very, very important to us. And so this video here uh, starts out, and this is a gentleman by the name of Gene, uh, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, and as you can see, Gene is on his way to work. The combination of Surface uh, running full Cartier with the power of Surface, so a full i7 processor in Surface, means that you can run this software from anywhere. He's on his way to work, and then when he gets into the office, he can very closely collaborate with his colleague, iterating, designing, bringing in that product concept from anywhere. Uh, as you can see, he's starting to work on a smart appliance, uh, iterating, uh, taking his ideas down. So here we have the world of industrial design and the world of mechanical engineering sitting side by side physically and working together. But apparently, uh, as soon as they are connected, they can connect through uh, the 3D experience in the cloud, and suddenly, they connect to um, another world. As, yeah, as we know, uh, the world is global. And so this concept of a company working across the world, uh, working with colleagues uh, through the cloud, uh, through, through Cartier, uh, on a surface, is very, very important. Designing, iterating, bringing all those concepts in from everywhere. Uh, surface, as you would have seen in the last instant, uh, goes from tablet to laptop to desktop, adapting with you how you want to work, any way that you want to work from anywhere. So what you see here is uh, actually the 3D experience platform in action, where the guys move from industrial design to mechanical design and engineering. And here they are collaborating with their marketing colleagues to define the shapes, the colors. And this is very important for making world-class products, uh, bringing in those different co concepts and different designs all into one platform, all with the same product. So now we move into the second stage of um, product engineering. So we are here again in the 3D experience platform in Katia, uh, mechanical system design. So all the mechanical engineers have started to work together uh, on the first version or the first prototype of, uh, of this machine, of this smart appliance. They can simulate very quickly how this machine is going to behave with all the vibration. And you see that uh, they can also control the speed at which the drum is going to turn because in Katia system, they can actually model the control board. All the electronics that can be designed in Zuken, for example, is going to be natively managed in the 3D experience platform in a system uh, that will allow you to have a full functional model of the product. So here, once you have done that, you can really have not only the electronics and the mechanical coming together and running as a full functional system, with all the physical characteristics perfectly respected. And once again, this product doesn't exist yet. This is full virtual. So you are testing the model and the physical characteristics of the product in the same platform. You can also start to look at the physical deformation of the plastic or the ring around the window. So in the same environment, you can f do full, full simulation. <coughs> and it's quite powerful and it's unique uh, in the market. So then you go into another phase, which is to say, my mechanical product works OK. My electronic software, uh, my electronics board works perfectly. Now I want to make this product smart. I want to make it connected. So at that point, we add a communication module. This machine is going to be equipped with a little Wi-Fi connector that will allow the transmission of a lot of information that you might need. So here again, the system engineers are modeling uh, all the behavior, all the communication behavior of the machine to make it a smart, connected, IoT, IOE uh, ready product. So here they are selecting a bunch of parameters. You see that they could have selected the power grid uh, uh, level and so on and so forth. But they are just going to select three parameters that you see in the curves in the bottom left corner, the vibration, the velocity, and the temperature. 
So here again, there's just checking that the mechanical system and uh, network data are going to work perfectly together. And then you put that through the uh, Microsoft Azure cloud and you're running this uh, in a virtual machine. And it's really amazing the power of the cloud uh, mixed in with, the, with this system. So what we're doing here actually, we are connecting the 3D experience platform from Dassault system and Azure to simulate the IoT behavior of this product. So you saw that in the 3D experience platform, we have the full modeling of the product. But here we are testing that this virtual model is actually capable of sending all the information to an IoT platform. In this case, it's Azure, but it could be another one. And we are actually going to see real time, again, the vibration, the velocity, and the temperature. Has this machine even been made yet, or is this all, all just virtual? At that point, it's still virtual. That's Nothing amazing. has been manufactured, and you can simulate how a fleet of 5,000, 10,000, 20,000 machines like that would behave in the real world. So we're still in the world of virtual at that point. So this is quite, uh, quite impressive to see that so easily you can connect uh, all the disciplines and validate all the scenarios uh, you want to enable. So now we are going to move into the world of real. We want to make sure that all the people who will touch this product, whoever they are, who will interact with this product, whoever they are, will have a great experience. And the first people will be the guys doing the installation and maintenance. So let's launch the second video, please. So the amazing thing with this platform is that mixing the combination of uh, virtual uh, and augmented reality allows you to actually go out, uh, test on site, and actually basically look inside the machine uh, through the full uh, capabilities uh, of, the, of the connection. And so, for instance, you take out your Surface, uh, you're a maintenance repair guy, uh, and you have the full manual loaded on your surface. And one of the interesting things when we're actually making the surface, we actually modeled this on a piece of A4 paper. So it feels really nice in your hand, like taking out a manual. And then you can virtually look at what's happening in the machine and figure out very quickly uh, how to fix it on site. So what is particularly interesting here is that all the geometry, all the bomb, all the characteristics of your product that you have engineered, which are stored in your uh, system and in your platform, can be exposed with exactly the same data set to the people who will need it. So straight from uh, the 3D Expanse platform, we can generate the technical documentation and all the physical assets that you will need as a repair guy or as a customer service guy to do the job that you need to do. So then we are, uh, sometimes there is a problem. Sometimes there is a problem with a machine. And here we are uh, simulating the experience of a guy or a lady in a call center which, uh, who, who will have access to all the different machines everywhere in the world. So here from a dashboard in the 3D Experience platform with our technology called Exalid, they can pinpoint very specifically the characteristics of a machine from a customer who is calling with a problem. So in the same platform, I can have not only the history of usage, I can have all the technical documentation associated to this machine, not all the machines, but this one specifically. I can have all the characteristics. And you see on the right side, these blue and green boxes that show exactly what happened, what were the sequence of events that led to the problem. So then the customer service guy can go a little bit deeper and start to trace the root cause of the problem can start to do some comparisons with other customers in the same geography, can filter on all the events, retrieve all the information associated to this product, and have more contextual information to be more relevant, more precise, in the type of service and quality uh, that they will deliver to the end customer. So let me ask you this question. So me and my wife uh, quite often have arguments about uh, washing detergent mm -hmm. and how much is going in there. Through the system, can you actually see that information so you can help me and my wife with this argument? No, I just think that you need to talk to your wife. Okay? <laughs> there is nothing that the system can do about on, your help wife. Me, help me out here. So then the next thing is uh, the customer, the end user. Yeah, this, this is really amazing. So as you know, I uh, at the moment live in Seattle. Yep. Uh, as, as everyone knows, Seattle rains a lot. A little bit. A lot of rain. Uh, and so one of the things that, uh, that I like to do before I go to work, I obviously put my washing on. Uh, and I don't really know what it's, what's going to happen, uh, whether it's raining or it's whether it's going to be sunshine, but 
So you tell me through this system, you can automatically uh, schedule it. So it's either going to turn the washer dryer on, or if it's sunshine, it will leave me to put out when I get home. So here we are looking at another uh, product from Dassault System called Dashboard of Things, created by our friends from NetVibes. And they have concepted, uh, invented this notion of potions. And what is a potion? It's a possibility of programming very simply, very, very simply, without being a developer, a link between who you are and a specific product. And immediately create a link and say, if this kind of event happens, then this is what I want to do with my product. Which is quite powerful. Very powerful. Last but not least, if you are a marketer, if you are a product development manager, you want to know everything about your product. You want to know how people are using it, what the competition is doing, what the buzz in the press is, what is the trend in the social network. So you want to have a 360 degree view of everything happening with your product in the real world. So we saw a few minutes ago that we were able to have very technical information about what's going on with the product. But here, we want to have a marketer view where you can have in one single integrated dashboard in the 3D Experience platform all the information that you need to have on social networks, as you see on the left side. You can have also all the different programs that people are using, what kind of features and functions are they using. And all of this insight that you get real time, globally, nonstop, 24 by 7, is something that helps you understand better what customers and consumers are doing with your product and what is their end experience. And is it the one that you anticipated they mm -hmm. would have? Yeah, amazing. So by, by combining all of this information of structured and unstructured data, you can then re-enter in a new cycle of innovation because you learn constantly, you improve constantly, you listen constantly, about what's going on out there, and you can not only change the characteristics and specifications of your physical object, but you can also improve over time the software, the content, and the services that will deliver and that will be delivered to your end customer. And when you think about you know, the combination of the Surface, the cloud, Dasso system software. And our, our, the thing with Surface, it's always been about bringing the content forward. And so whilst we make a very powerful machine, and the reason why we make a powerful machine is for designing and iterating from anywhere, to allow people to get their ideas done quickly. And that's been the concept. So the power of this is that people can really do what they want, where they need to, from anywhere in the world. Thanks a lot, Matt. So I think that we are going to have a, a break now, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know about you, but I've been hearing about bread and food for quite a while during the previous talk. So now I'm a little bit hungry, so I think that we're going to make a break and have a good cup of coffee. Before that, I would like to invite you to visit compassmag3ds.com on, on our website, where there is a special issue of uh, Dassault System magazine on the Internet of Experience with a bunch of very good articles. Uh, with perspective from the industry and also more information about uh, what we do at Dassault System in this space. I invite you also to spend time on the playground. Great, great demonstration. And I think that there's a big brother on this one. There is this a big one brother. This a little one. So if those there's a big, big one. We have, we have this. We have a Surface Pro 4 and we have a Surface Hub. So if, for those of you that haven't used the Surface, this is our Surface book. Full DPGU processor in it. Very powerful device. We also have one of two Surface Hubs in all of Japan. There is literally only two devices. What is a Surface Hub? You Surface, know what is a Surface Hub. I know what a Surface Hub is. You don't know what it no, is? No, I don't know what it is. Tell me. So Surface Hub is an 84-inch, basically a full PC. 100-point okay. multi-touch, multi-directional cameras. Uh, it really is our uh, step forward into collaboration from anywhere and designing from anywhere. It's the continuation of Surface Pro 4 to Surface Book to Surface Hub, uh, working uh, full windows uh, for designing and collaborating. You should go check it out. It's amazing. Thanks a lot, Matt. So have a great afternoon. Enjoy the forum, and I'll see you around. Thanks. Thank you very much.